Why are Egypt building a buffer zone at the Rafah border? And what does this mean for the Palestinians in Gaza? And how would this affect Egypt and Israel's 1979 peace treaty? Let's break it down. Since October, Israel has crammed most of the 2.2 million Palestinians in Gaza into Rafah. As you can see, Egypt shares a border with Gaza, known as the Philadelphia Corridor, and this is the only border in Gaza where the flow of people is not controlled by Israel. There has been international pressure on Egypt to open their borders and allow Palestinians from Gaza to seek refuge in Sina, but Egypt's president has repeatedly said that this will not happen. Images and videos have surfaced online of an area being built in Sina, surrounded by a seven metre high wall. Egyptian officials have expressed that this buffer zone could potentially host up to 100,000 Palestinian refugees if Israel is successful in pushing them out of Rafah. But what is a buffer zone? The buffer zone refers to an area that separates hostile forces or nations, in this case, Egypt, Gaza and Israel. Which brings us to the 1979 Israel and Egypt Peace Treaty. This comes after five wars over three decades and was a turning point for relations in the region. One of the conditions of this peace treaty is that Israel's occupation of Egypt's Sina Peninsula ended and that Egypt would regain control of the border between Egypt and Rafah. But in 2023, Israel's prime minister said that the Philadelphia Corridor must be in our hands and anyone that stops them is supporting Hamas. But this could have detrimental effects for Israeli-Egyptian relations moving forward. However, the issue of this border is a bit complicated, so I will be breaking that down in another video. On top of all of this, Israel has attacked Rafah, the last safe zone left in Gaza, and has voiced numerous times that other countries should absorb the Palestinians. Which brings us back to what this means for more than half of Gaza's population who have nowhere to go. Israel's allies have strongly advised against pushing Palestinians out of Gaza or for them to reoccupy this area. But Israeli leaders have said otherwise. I Israel will fight until the But will Israel follow through and worsen this already catastrophic humanitarian disaster?